recording. Here we go. Uh, okay, just one question, Mars. What are you doing? We're showing star system GD319. We're unlike most moons. This one ate asteroids. Cool, except for yeah, cool. this is not scientific. Well, science stuff doesn't really matter when you're making montages. And that was just from the rings. The surface was something else entirely. Okay, great, because I was under the impression this was about how the game works. It's also about racing towards hailstones the size of city blocks, a mixture of fantasy and science fiction, a playground within a playground. Okay, the science part of this is that these moons are tidally locked. They're spinning in and out of the rings every nine and a half hours. No one cares about data. This place was cool. Where flying through rings was just a Tuesday. And planet surfing, that was on Wednesdays. Where first you needed to line up with a row of ice to drop into. You fine-tuned that approach, hoping you had just enough for rebuy. Then you strapped in for one, oh yeah, it's just a video game. Are you uh, flying an external again? They're fine. You're gonna hit rocks. No, we're not hitting any rocks. You're hitting rocks! But when you say, yeah. hey, this important data uh -huh. is just science stuff. It is. And then we hit rocks, that makes me feel like perhaps I'm gonna die. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my, the immersion, it's all breaking. Look, there's 399 billion other systems out there, but this one, this one was fun. To be fair, it probably needed to be patched out, just putting that out there. Because realistically, these moons were well past the Roche limit, which is where gravitational forces from the gas giant would tear the moons apart, forming new rings. Here's a famous French astronomer Dr. Roche to explain his limit. Around an old planet surrounded by rings orbit two little moons disobeying many things. Dr. Roche advised you must be wary. Tidal forces larger than you are certainly scary. The moons spun and laughed as they said, plenty of room old fool, we'll go here instead. Then screaming, they broke into pieces like never before. This is my limit, countered Dr. Roche. There isn't any more. Wow. Thanks for explaining literally nothing. Actually, something like this is happening in our own solar system. Like our actual one. Around Uranus, there are rings that have disappeared and new ones formed somewhere else. Astronomers believe tiny moons are being formed and disintegrated over and over. Soon two of Uranus's moons, Cupid and Belinda, will break apart. Soon as in 10 million years from now, but it's soon in a cosmic sense, I guess. So why can't all this happen in game? Isn't there like a fancy random dirt ball generator? Well there is. It's called the Stella Forge. Stellar Forge. Stellar Forge. It takes real astronomical data like star age distributions, hill, sphere handling, and all this nerd stuff over here to calculate a virtual protoplanetary disk based on mass, temperature, metallicity, more nerd stuff, and creates giant mesh cubes that are then expanded to create spheres whose surface geometry is then deformed by a noise graph of more astronomical data for each... whatever. The fact is, through all of this, there's going to be a few hiccups in the matrix. They're going to be both fun, yet fleeting. So whether they are bugs or features, there's lots to see in this galaxy. It's just a matter of what you want to do with it while you're right there. <laughs>